From congressional hearings on head trauma to a major motion picture starring Will Smith, concussions are a topic of great concern in the athletic world. This fall, the UIL updated their concussion protocol guidelines to keep students safe and healthy. Junior Zach Brooks is all too familiar with this issue. Well, I was a running back and I just got hit in the backfield and I got picked up and more or less dumped right on the top of my head, which caused me to black out for a second. Like I said, it broke my helmet and I don't really remember much after that. Frisco neurologist Amy Garza says that management of concussions is a team effort. I've seen many different types of cases and certainly some are more serious. Um, those that come to mind, you know, one in particular is not one of my patients, but it is a, a case that I heard about. Um, a girl who was a high school soccer player had about five concussions and never reported them to her coaches or parents. And that actually led to a law, as we know, as, as Natasha's law, which now requires that um, students who sustain an injury have to report it. Coaches have to have training in concussion management and have to remove that player from continued um, play until they're cleared by a physician. LHS has very strict protocol about preventing and dealing with concussions. So some of the things to limit it, I think we're already doing the UIL's regulations on the number of the number of contact practices and stuff like that we can have in the sports that, with football, etc. Um, but the other thing we can do is just know about concussions, teach the athletes and their parents about concussions, which is part of our athletic paperwork, so that if a kid has an impact they can come in and we can start taking care of them properly. When you get into trouble is when you don't take care of a concussion properly and you keep trying to work out with it. Multiple concussions between her 8th and ninth grade years for sophomore Ashley May to give up volleyball. Um, I took my baseline for my impact test just assuming I'd be fine. Um, and then I had basically an anxiety attack right before school started. And so I started going to a concussion specialist and he was like, you're definitely not okay. You even failed your baseline test. And finally in January, I went to a doctor that focuses on like vestibular therapy and they ran some tests and we found out my balance organ is damaged 83%. So my left side um, is basically broken at 83%, which makes me, my balance really off and makes me think I'm moving when I'm not. Coaches also play a role in the prevention of student concussions. Uh, in particular, our coaching staff does a lot um, to, to try and prevent concussions. I don't feel like we have as, as crazy high number of concussions as one might think. Um, we take a lot of pride in practicing uh, the right way. Um, we're not going to sit there and, 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 hit, and hit, you know, for two straight hours of practice because I think if you do that, you are going to, to sustain a uh, concussion or multiples. Uh, when we do have to hit, we do, um, but we're not doing it all the time, uh, which some of these schools uh, quite possibly do. But getting back on the field isn't the only struggle concussed students face. I missed about a week of school, but even when I got back, I wasn't allowed to take tests or quizzes. So I say all in all, I missed almost a month of actual school time. And that really affected me for the rest of the semester as I was playing catch up for the entire semester. So I wasn't really able to focus on new concepts and my grades ended up suffering because of that. This is Bradley Davis and Grant Dennis reporting for the Lovejoy News Network.